Hey YouTube, what's going on? Back again with another video. Today, I wanna to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus after two months of usage. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is by far the best Android tablet I've ever used, ever. And I love how big the screen is, 12.4 inch Super AMOLED Quad HD. 120 hertz refresh rate this display is absolutely stunning now literally there's times when i leave this thing on for like an hour just to watch the different wallpapers change because i love the display so much and with the 120 hertz refresh rate it just makes things so smooth i mean super smooth love this device and the thing I love about this device the most, well, this, <laughs> my favorite is the display. That's that's the first thing. But I would say the next thing, it would be the speakers. The four speakers that you get on this device, oh my goodness, they are absolutely amazing. They're so loud, but they have excellent sound quality, the treble, you know, your, your bass, your mids, all that, they, the highs. They got it. This this has it all. I mean, it's so nice. Like when I want to go into super savage media mode, this is what I'm using. I'm using my Tab S7 Plus. When I want to watch a lot bunch of movies, I'm using this. Now, of course, I got my um, I got this too. If I want to open this up and use it, but it doesn't compare. <laughs> it doesn't compare. When it comes to size, it's not even close. So when I, like I said, when I want to go into super savage mode, when it comes to media content, I'm using this. So <clears throat> just really quick, this video is not going to be long. All I can say, I haven't had any issues with this device at all. The performance has been great, fast, smooth. <clears throat> the display is great. Now, normally y'all know me, I usually have my display up really, really high as far as the brightness, but you see here, I didn't even need I didn't even need to go into the red on this one. I just didn't need to do that because, matter of fact, I took it into the red just to see how bright it was, and honestly, it got so bright till it hurt my eyes. Now that that's that's a very bright display. When it hurts my eyes, then you know it's super bright. So I got it right before the red, so it's probably around that's probably around eighty percent brightness, or no, I would say ninety percent brightness which is bright enough for me. But the display is absolutely stunning. The performance is great. The battery life is great. Literally, moderate usage of this, light to moderate, I say light to moderate, seven days for me. Now that's me having the brightness up super lot, you know, high, like 90%. That's me using 120 Hertz at quad HD resolution and getting all of my notifications, emails, everything. Everything is at max on this device. And I can get seven days. Now, if I'm going hardcore, crazy media mode day, I still would get a day and a half. Still a day and a half going crazy. Now, light to moderate, seven days. Light, I can almost get two weeks of battery life out of this. This thing does not even really drain battery when it's off it really doesn't now this is probably samsung's best device when it comes to battery life for me because everything else when it comes to the uh, phones they always drain whether you use the you know whether you turn the phone on or not not turn on but you know turn the turn the display on and start using it you would just drain battery like you could lose like 12 percent battery overnight like it's just crazy now maybe the newer ones maybe the s21 series is a little bit better I don't know because I don't have that device, but I'm just talking about devices prior to those. Samsung has never been good at battery life when it comes to standby time more so. Now, you still get a full day, but the standby time has always been terrible on their devices. Not this one. The standby time is excellent. I mean, seriously, excellent. All right. So, <clears throat> you know, you got the Snapdragon 865 Plus. You got, this thing is just a monster. You get an expandable storage up to one terabyte, 128 gigs of storage, six gigs of RAM. I mean, this thing is just awesome. And it's going to get Android 13. 
That's really, really good. And the in-display fingerprint sensor has worked just fine for me. I haven't had any issues with it. Tap it, opens it right up. The face unlock can always be a little fishy here and there, but Samsung don't make the best face unlocks. They just never have. Um, of course, you got your edge panels, you know, all those things too. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think I have it activated at the moment, but you got Samsung Pass. You got all the typical things that, you know, Samsung gives you as far as features. Now, another thing that I love a lot about this device also is this 45 watt super fast charging. I mean, literally, this is this battery is over 10,000 milliamps, and I can fully charge this phone. I mean, sorry, this this tablet from from five five percent to 100 percent in an hour and 24 minutes. That's impressive. I mean, seriously, that's fat. For a 10,000 milliamp battery, that's pretty good. So 45 watt super fast charging is an awesome thing. And of course, you got the S Pen, <clears throat> which I use pretty frequently. It sticks right to the back of the device and it's nice and smooth. You get this Bluetooth, all the functionality you get with the Note, with the, with the S Pen, you get with this one only that it's much, much bigger. So it's going to feel more like an actual writing experience because it's, it's it's huge. It's way bigger than the S Pen that comes out of the Note. And also, you can just stick this thing right on the top of your device, okay? So you can stick it on the top or you can stick it on the back, okay? Not a problem. You can see there, it starts charging. Once you put it on the back of the phone, it starts charging. But I haven't even gotten that S Pen down to 50%. It must last a really, really long time, but I've never got it. I've never got it under, I say, I never got it under 90% since I've had it. Maybe 95%, but <clears throat> maybe I just need to use it a whole lot more. But I do use it, especially, mostly to just navigate through the phone, you know, navigate through the device, which is what it's, what it's there for, is like a mouse. So I, I, I don't know what else to say, except I honestly love this device, of course, the cameras on this device also are excellent because I took some photos, but most people are not taking pictures with a tablet, especially not one this size. But if you do, you're going to get excellent photo quality and also video quality on this tablet. Okay, so just to let you know that. Now, only thing I can say again, my two months of usage has been phenomenal. I'll do another review on this after six months. And then after a year, but I'm telling you right now, if you're in the market for Android tablet, you should definitely check this out. And the price has dropped, um, you know, down really low. I think you can get this for either 600 or either under 600. I haven't checked recently, but I got it for a really good deal. Um, and it's definitely worth it. The display, the speakers, the battery life and the performance and the cameras excellent and it's packed with features you also have samsung decks on here also along with secure folder and all the other amenities and features that samsung offer with their devices so that was just my quick recap of the samsung galaxy s s um s7 plus tablet after two months of usage hope everybody out there is staying well and staying safe and i'll check you guys out in the next one Peace.